What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. This is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice. I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. Um, today's episode is going to be about fast, how fast makes you feel good. Moving fast in a toxic relationship, moving fast with a narcissistic person, possible narcissistic person, ignoring the speed red flag. So one of the main red flags that people tend to ignore in relationship dynamics nowadays is the speed of relationships. That's how you get up with narcissists, y'all. That's how you, you go from zero to marriage in three months or a month. Yeah, I've, I've heard, you know, just, I've heard some crazy stories. I've been talking, I do my one-on-ones over Zoom. I've been doing it for, you know, coaching for over a year now, for about, you know, 14 months. It's a, it's a 14 month baby. You know I mean, how you describe a baby's age, 14 months, my coaching career with, nar- with, narciss- with narcissistic people and, you know, survivors is, you know, 14 month old baby, 15 months, 15 months, just started to walk. <laughs> it started to walk and talk. It's, 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 it's eating solids now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so with that being said, like fast makes you feel good. That's why that's why a lot of people ignore their red flags of the speed because fast make you feel good. And a lot of people, a lot of people grew up with the Disney movies, the instant love, the love at first sight mess, or just you know just any movie in general. Just we we were raised around that that type of setup. You know, just getting fast is fun. You know what I mean? That's why you get married so fast. That's why you fall in love so quickly. Because these people, when, when they fall in love fast, when they tell you they love you quickly, two weeks in, one week in, the, the first night they meet you, you know what I mean? however fast they tell you they love you, it makes you, you might question it. Your intuition might kick in like, damn, this is kind of weird. This is kind of moving fast. But it feels good. You're, the good feelings override the intuition right there, which happens quite a bit when you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people. Your good feelings, the, good, the way you feel, overrides the actual intuition that's trying to protect you. So when that happens, when your good feelings override your intuition, you lose. You may, and that's when narcissists, that's when they, that's when they snap it. That's when they get you. When the, the way you feel, how, how the good feelings that you have, when they override your intuition, is trying to protect you. Intuition is like, wow, this is kind of weird. Like you don't even know me, but you love me. But your, your, the, the way you feel, whatever part of your brain is the amygdala, whatever, the, whatever part of your brain, the, the, the pleasure center of your brain kicks in. It's just like, but, but ooh. You love me in a week. Ooh, <laughs> you love me in a week. That's quick. That's too quick. So if you get into the situation, your pleasure center of your brain overrides your intuition, you lose. And that narcissistic person wins. That's why you you know it's not right that y'all living together and don't know each other's last names. You know it's not right that you just gave this person the key to your house one week in. You know it's not right when they bought their trash bags, their Walmart bags full of uh, soap and loofahs to your house and they never left. You know it's not right. You know it's not right, but their pleasure center is just overriding everything because fast makes you feel good. And that's why I tell people, speed is the weapon. Is the, is the weapon of a narcissist. It just is. Moving fast makes you miss red flags. You don't know what color the flags are. It could be green, could be white, could be blue. If it's moving fast enough, you can't tell the actual color of it. You just know it's a flag. Is that a ooh? The flag just flashed in front of my eyes, but it was so fast. That flag just flashed in front of my eyes, but it was so fast that I don't know what color it was. Because speed makes you feel good. Moving fast makes you feel good. It just absolutely does. So I tell people when you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people, understand that's why so many people miss these red flags. Because boom, 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 boom. It makes you feel. It just. It's just good. Your good feelings override the you, the way you're supposed to be acting and thinking and things like that. They just do. You have to tell people slow down. Yes, it feel. It might feel good, but you have to slow it down. That way, they try to clap your cheeks quick. They're just like, look. Some of these people. What's the, what's the word? The word uh, is, is, I guess, hobosexual. So you meet a person that is down on their luck. There's serious bum status. And y'all take them into your house. They would clap. They, they're going to be. They're going to clap their cheeks for 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 a shelter. They're clapping for shelter. You know what I mean? They are literally clapping for shelter. They're going to do whatever it takes on the first time. The first few times that they get to clap their cheeks, they're going to go all out because they're doing it. For, it's, a, it's like they're doing it for rent credits or for shelter. You know what I mean? Like cavemen. This, this is their, This is how they pay for their shelter right here. This is the exchange. I don't have a lot of money, but you know what I do have? I can clap your cheeks. 
I, I've, I've read the Kama Sutra from cover from cover to cover. I got you. You know what I mean? That's what they do. They get good at doing stuff that, make, that makes you feel good. That's why a lot of narcissistic people, they actually do get good at things that make you feel good. So, cause, so that pleasure center of your brain can override your intuition. So you miss the red flags. The pleasure center of your brain overrides the good advice that you're getting from your friends and family. Hey, you moving kind of fast. Like you don't even know this person is where they from or how many kids they got. They y'all living together this this damn quick. You don't know them. They make me feel good. Gotcha. You lose. You just do. And so many people end up in these situations be like, it would never happen to me. Gotcha. And especially, especially, especially when you're vulnerable. This happens so many, so many times. Y'all will get out of a relationship. Uh, y'all will get out of a long-term relationship and then hop immediately into a toxic relationship that moves fast as hell and be shocked at the results. Like, I just got out of a 10-year marriage where I got cheated on one time. Like, as soon as my, my ex cheated on me, I left them immediately. And uh, the first person I met at the bar when I was celebrating my divorce was this, this rambunctious person, and we clapped cheeks, and they ended up beating me up two weeks later, and I still love them. I'm fighting for their love. Because y'all were vulnerable, and this person makes you feel good. They over you know, vulnerability, plus the, the pleasure center of being overridden. Oh, but your, your intuition is gone. Your intuition is sleep. Pretty much, when you're vulnerable, and they make you feel good, your your intuition is is taking a nap. Pretty much taking your intuition is pretty much in a damn shallow grave. It's dead. You know what I mean? It's been left for dead. You know, it's just, they killed your intu they killed your intuition and put it in, like buried it in a shallow grave in the woods. They thought they were dead, but your intuition is not dead. It's still there. It's just covered up by a layer of vulnerability. That dirt, that, that layer of dirt that's cover you in that shallow grave is vulnerability. Ooh, I be spitting on it. I know y'all be, God damn, Lee, where you come up with this stuff? I don't, I, honestly, I don't know where I come up with this stuff. That, first, that layer of dirt that, that is the, the cover you in that shallow grave is vulnerability. Because you're vulnerable, so you miss the red flags. You're moving fast. And you're vulnerable and you're missing red flags. I say speed is the weapon of a narcissist. They try to move fast before you realize who they are. Narcissistic people, <clears throat> from my perspective, we move fast because we think that you won't love us for who we really are. So we're moving extremely fast so we can get you before you know who we are. Because when we show you who we are, you're probably already locked in. We're probably already living together. We're probably already married. We might already have kids on the way or we already have kids because we got you so quickly. That's why so many people get out of the, you. You'll get out of a relationship and then into a toxic one, and they be moving extremely fast, which happens so much. That's why I tell people: if you are healing from a divorce or a bad breakup, don't go out and party and get drunk and meet people because that's when you will get. That. I'm just telling you, it, it, it'll be the worst time of your life. Yeah, you be having fun. Your friends like, woo, single, we we, we single, and I'm single for the night, and then you get messed up and meet a toxic ass person that ruins your life. Take time to heal. You, people, so many people live life like you're rushing it, like you're moving too fast. And you, if you're moving fast, if you're looking to move fast, guess what? You didn't up a target for narcissist, a narcissist or a toxic person. You just are. You give off a damn pheromone in the bar that you're vulnerable and move, trying to move fast. Like the narcissist comes in like, hey, where they at tonight? Huh, I, said, I smell a vulnerable. Hmm. At the, it's vulnerability at the bar. Bartender. Vulnerability on the rocks, please. For that, that, that beautiful young one at the bar, end of the bar. Gotcha. And you're like, oh, somebody thinks I'm cute. Gotcha. You lose. Seriously, slow yourself down. Slow down. I'm, just, I'm just telling you, you can slow yourself down. Speed, uh, slowing down is a boundary, y'all. You, you are a passenger in this relationship car. You can slow it down as well. You don't have to move as fast as they want to move fast. And that's how you can spot a lot of narcissistic people by setting a damn boundary early on. Hey, I think we're moving too fast. Skirt, that's a boundary. When you try to tap the brakes, guess what? They're either going to hop out the relationship vehicle or they're going to try to put some, they're, and, and, try, and they're going to either hop out this relationship vehicle and put somebody else in the passenger seat with them or they're going to try to speed it up even faster. They're, they're like, they're going to lock the doors and speed the relationship vehicle up, vehicle up any fast. You know what? I don't think we're moving fast enough. Like, we're just boyfriend and girlfriend right now. Let's just get engaged. Let's move in together. Let's have a baby. That's how so many people end up with babies within two, three weeks of knowing somebody, a month of knowing somebody. Y'all, this is not sex ed, but God damn it, y'all. God damn, please. It's just the way the world is now, y'all just, just risking unprotected cheek clapping with strangers you meet on Tinder. The person, the, the cute person that you swiped on on Tinder might have a goddamn herpes or something like that. 
or is something you can't get rid of. Something they might give you a gift that you have for the rest of your life that is not really a gift. You just can't get rid of it, so you have to you have to paint it in a better picture. Like, ooh, it's a gift. I don't want to share this gift with anybody else. Gifts you want to share. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is not a this is the package right here. Everybody said, slow down, y'all. Just please just slow down. I know heat of the moment, alcohol flowing, the, the the wine is flowing, whatever you have going on, it's all flowing together. But just slow down and take your time. Please, please, please. That's all I that's that's really all I'd be asking for people to do is just take your time and slow down. Because speed, again, is the weapon of the narcissistic person. And fast makes you feel good. It just does. I, honestly, because you're like, damn, this person really cares about me that much, that quickly. I must, they make me feel really good about myself. They they focus on you. So many people think narcissists at the beginning of a relationship focus on themselves. Like they, We are we are focused on ourselves because our goal is to get you. We focus on ourselves that way. But a lot of times, my focus is going to be on you. I want to get to know everything about you. You, 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 you. So I can love bomb you and then I can get you. The focus is on you. Anyway, y'all, my camera battery is about to go dead. Like and subscribe for more. And live in-person meet and greet, July 23rd, Durham, North Carolina. Come through. Come say hi. Me, Raw Motivations, Carrie McAvoy, Bree uh, at Abuse is Abuse. And Lisa Sunny is coming through from Canada. So y'all come through as well. July 23rd, Durham, North Carolina. Like and subscribe for more. Mental illness is out. Damn, I'm just talking fast. I should be an auctioneer, shouldn't I? <laughs> Thank y'all.